Top White House spokespersons, including Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre and Deputy Press Secretary Andrew Bates, have allegedly breached the Hatch Act, despite prior warnings. The Independent Office of Special Counsel, OSC, reported their actions as contrary to official guidance due to their use of the term MEGA, Make America Great Again, in a manner deemed inappropriate under the Hatch Act. This disclosure follows the OSC's earlier warning to Jean-Pierre for repeatedly referencing Mega Mega Republicans before the 2022 midterms. The OSC issued guidance across the government, prohibiting the use of Mega and similar terms as campaign-related slogans. Although the OSC acknowledged the spokespeople's actions as contrary to its warning and guidance, no disciplinary action has been initiated. In an October letter, Hatch Act Unit Chief Anna Galinda Maroney mentioned that Jean-Pierre and Bates hadn't used MEGA officially since their June infractions, but cautioned about monitoring for future violations. Critics, like Michael Chamberlain from the conservative watchdog group Protect the Public's Trust, argue that the lack of enforcement undermines the Hatch Act's efficacy, especially when high-ranking officials allegedly breach it. Chamberlain voiced concerns about a potential two-tiered system fearing arbitrary enforcement for prominent White House officials. Enforcing the Hatch Act for high-level officials has historically been challenging. The OSC's decision against disciplinary action for Jean-Pierre and Bates raises questions about the Biden administration's commitment to upholding ethical standards, a pledge it had made. The controversy around the use of MEGA isn't new, with political speech remaining contentious. The OSC previously cited former President Donald Trump's MA Genomics economic plan as a permissible use of the term. However, the OSC's recent stance on the term's usage in the context of Jean-Pierre and Bates brings to light ongoing debates over political language and ethical compliance in government communications.